Welcome back to Duda Dojo, your go-to source for the latest Duda news, platform how-tos, and product updates. I'm Jessica, and today the design team and I discuss the latest Duda features offered in the updated editor, Editor 2.0. So let's jump right in. Alexis and Chris, let's talk about what your experience has been like using Editor 2.0, which is the latest and greatest mm -hmm. editor um, that Duda has produced. And then I specifically want to talk about the tabs feature because in the past, yep. Revel Mind has attempted to use this tabs feature and it hasn't always been the most successful yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it isn't approach. great. <laughs> but yeah, I saw that you guys were super excited about it. So I definitely want to touch point on that today. But just tell me about your experience with Editor 2.0. What has it been like so far? What are the advantages that you would say this editor has over Classic for both businesses and developers? Hallelujah. <laughs> um, it, it's been just like so much easier to design in. Mm -hmm. So like, you know, like uh, efficient. And I think that all of the changes they've made, they've really like Judah's really like listened to like the feedback from designers mm -hmm. um, and like, you know, really like cares for how we work. I think a lot of the widgets has, have had some like slight updates. Mm -hmm. uh, when I talk about like efficiency, like just the ability to like make one click and like have an action be done. Yeah. Whereas before in classic, it would take like three or four clicks to do one thing. Yeah. So I think that has just been a breeze and been amazing. Sounds like it's allowed you guys to like actually develop a little quicker. Even though it's mm -hmm. a new thing you're learning, I could imagine a few more months and you'll just be aces. Yeah. yeah. Editor 2.0 is really great. It's just been pushing all of us designers. Our designs have been like stepping up. Yeah, we have a lot sure. more freedom to the like to manipulate the site a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's just been a really great experience lately. Mm -hmm. That's super exciting. Mm -hmm. I feel like in the past with classic, we may have had to like finesse like certain yep. things when it mm -hmm. comes to like the breakpoints. Almost like cheat it, right? Yeah. yeah. And fake it out a little bit. Yeah. And breakpoints are just like uh at each point where the uh it's like desktop, tablet, mobile. So like yeah. each point where those pixels would break into the next uh, break point. Yeah. And um, we have the ability now to like fully manipulate tablet and mobile like separately without it affecting desktop. That's amazing. Because <sighs> obviously there's so many uh, tablet, or excuse me, mobile users. Yes. Yeah. So you do need to make sure that mobile is in excellent condition. Yes. Yeah. So. They made it much easier for us to quality check mm -hmm. based on each break point. Yeah. It's just been a really a nice change Fresh. yeah change yeah. refreshing breath refreshing. of fresh air yeah, 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 yeah. 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 well let's jump into this tabs feature and talk about that a little bit and we can mm -hmm. kind of um discuss the other value points of editor 2.0 as a whole mm -hmm. but on my screen so let me scroll down so for everyone watching this is actually a demo site we put together um i don't know if anyone's number is 555 <laughs> <laughs> but we did this for uh the tab uh, feature here. And this is really exciting. The first thing that I was able to see with this feature uh, was that you guys were actually able to manipulate the mm -hmm. colors, not only of the tabs themselves, but the section of the content. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's talk. I will be happy to drive this. Let's talk about some of the function of this in the editor. What are your favorite things? What are you most excited about mm -hmm. um, with this widget? So what I really love about the advanced tabs mm -hmm. widget is the fact that it's made out of columns and okay. inner columns, okay. which allows you to quality check it based on each breakpoint. Mm -hmm. But also, if you, you if you want, you can add any widget you want within the tabs, yeah. and it won't um, look too odd. Mm -hmm. um, though there is some restrictions based off of mobile, yeah. but it is in beta, and um, we just have to... Um, live with it for now. Yeah. So I could literally, when you were saying I could add any widget mm -hmm. in here. So I'm in one of these tabs, right? And we have, you know, we want to talk about what's the advantage of this. But realistically, if I wanted to like, I don't know, add an accordion widget mm -hmm. and put in more additional content, I could go ahead and drop that in here, start to fill out that information. And now it's, it's almost like it's just any other section of the site where mm -hmm. I can work additional widgets into this tab. But, you know, as you're looking at this, you might not initially identify as someone who hasn't worked with it, like what the advantages are. So let's talk about what, how is this benefiting businesses to be able to add this widget in? And then we can talk about breakpoints too, but to add this widget in, how would a business use this? Or why would we apply this to a website for a specific business? 
I think when it comes to the amount of content a business might have, like if they really want to like, you know, not cut any out or have a long scrolling page, Mm -hmm. I think this would be perfect. Or, you know, if they have certain steps or like certain like categorized services like this on a homepage would just be amazing. Yeah. I think we were talking about FTC Ori Group, which yeah. uh, does siting in Windows or whatnot. Mm-hmm. If they, And I know we produce resources for them, kind of like how-tos. Yeah. So for things that homeowners could do at home themselves, we could actually put, use this in those resources mm-hmm. or on those pages and it, use it as a step-by-step. Mm-hmm. Um, so on screen, I have three tabs, right? And we didn't go ham. We didn't go like crazy on the design of this. You could get really really kind of deeply involved in this widget and what's happening in this section. Mm -hmm. Um, But you see three tabs here. Let's talk about mobile Mm -hmm. and the challenges in the past and what we're dealing with today. So you can see I went to mobile view. I'll go into preview. And then let me just scroll up a little bit and you can see I see the tabs right now. I'm using, you know, I'm just testing it. But on my phone, I would have to actually slide it over in order to see these tabs. What is the challenge with that? Um, When it comes to, so like these titles are a bit longer. So Mm -hmm. obviously there's only one and a half of those tabs showing right now. Mm -hmm. But um, one way that we could possibly get avoid uh, like around it would be like if these are smaller titles, you could actually make the font size of those a little bit smaller to kind of fit those in. Sure. Um, I think 2.0 as a whole is much more advanced um, and complex when it comes to like the speed. You're not going to like break the site as easily as you used Mm -hmm. to. So I think these widgets are also upgraded. So having that scrolling effect is, it's like it was before. Yeah. But I think it is a little bit more, you know, advanced now. So like it won't be as like grading. Yeah. Just the amount of stuff that you can kind of pack Mm -hmm. in this. Yeah. And then if we look at tablet, talking about breakpoints, right? Yeah. We've got, yeah, it's actually nice that look at that. So Mm -hmm. I get the same view as I do on Mm -hmm. desktop and yeah, maybe you want to make some adjustments, but as you all mentioned in editor 2.0, we can, and it's not going to make changes across Mm -hmm. those other um, device views. Yep. So love this. Okay. So let's, I'm going to jump into my notes here a little bit more. I know you guys mentioned this was in beta yes. right now. Um, so we'll see it like officially fully functioning soon. Uh, doesn't mean we can't start using it, mm-hmm. sure. but um, talk to me about other use cases for this. I know we kind of mentioned blogs um, and we mentioned that you could use this for sections or services where you need to digest more of that content, but yeah. you don't want a super long page. Right. Mm-hmm. So tell me, how could you use this in blogs? I'm very curious because I really want to use it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, recently, I mean, we had uh, a Duda Dojo about uh, we had in our previous video with Madison. Yeah, uh, we were talking about the Tatcha blog that we recreated. Mm-hmm. It yep. could have been perfect for something like that. Yeah, like a how to like, or step by step, step by step. Exactly. Yes. I like love if that. you if you had I mean, there was a lot of information in that blog. So if you really wanted to just concise yeah. it a little bit. Yeah, I think for the use from the user's perspective, like I don't want to scroll mm-hmm. that long. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. The tab feature is mostly really useful to condense content and not to overwhelm the user. But another useful um, thing about the tabs is that you can really create something fantastic design wise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that. Mm Because you can add any widget you want. Like in one of the tabs, you could have a video. The next one, you could have Mm -hmm. an image. You know, Mm -hmm. you can really. And the fact that you can do that in with blogs as well. Yeah. It's just another user experience that makes it really um, engaging for the user. Yes. Yeah. It makes them interact with the page. Yeah, I I actually so I just grabbed the tab widget and I was playing around. (laughs) Yes. So this is a fake blog, of course. Um, So if I'm just going to go to desktop here so you can see I actually embedded the tabbed widget in here. So now I could start to work within here. And I love what you guys said about videos. So if I had step-by-step videos, step one, step two, step three, Mm -hmm. I could actually embed each one of those videos with the content and let the user, especially if I was doing like a learning course, right, on my website, and let the Mm -hmm. user take their time to work through that as they needed at their capacity. Mm -hmm. So I see a lot of cool advantages with this widget as a whole. Um, So kind of in closing with Editor 2.0, how do you think Editor 2.0 is going to serve Rival Mind, which in the end, we're here to serve our clients? Um, what would you say overall arching is the goal of Editor 2.0? 
Um, I would definitely say to like we were talking about earlier, just to enhance our designs. Yep. Like mm -hmm. it really inspires our creativity because like we have all of these um, advantages and like with these updates. Mm -hmm. So it really allows <clears throat> us to um, finesse in a good way. We mm -hmm. don't have to finesse to avoid anything. We can like finesse like on top of, uh, you know, the editor and yeah. really like enhance it mm -hmm. yeah I two, love it 2.0 just gives us a bunch of possibilities to yeah. really push ourselves yeah and to really um incorporate what our client is asking for yeah and that's why i love building in 2.0 now it's mm -hmm. just there's just so much freedom and less restraints and less yeah. stress fantastic <laughs> less, stress. <laughs> less stress i love that so ultimately you guys are being more efficient so mm -hmm. As you continue to build and you refine these features, let's come back. Let's keep touching on Editor 2.0 and showing off all of the advantages of that, how it serves Rival Mind, in the end, how we serve our clients with this. For sure. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for joining me. Hey, if you like this dojo video, be sure to try out this one or subscribe to our channel.